Hi everyone, so today I'm going to be showing you how to do these leopard heart nails. This is perfect for Valentine's Day, which is right around the corner, and I really like this because I love leopard print, and incorporating some hearts in there makes it extra cute. So today I'm just going to be showing you how to do this, and if you want to learn how to create this, just keep on watching. First, apply a base coat to protect your natural nails, and then paint your nails with a light brown or just any like natural color for your base color. And I'm applying two coats to make sure that it's nice and opaque because it is very light. And once that is done, I'm just going to wait for them to dry. Next, you're going to need red nail polish and a darker brown nail polish. So for the red, you're just going to create hearts. You can do it like two to three, and you can vary the size depending on the size of your nail, but don't fill the whole nail with too many hearts. And then once you've placed your hearts where you want it, I'm just going to take the smaller dotting tool and brown nail polish to just fill in most of it. Just make sure that there's still a little bit of space for some black dots, but once you're happy with it, just do the rest of your nails. Now they start to look a lot better, so you're going to take a black nail pen or toothpick and black nail polish, anything you have, and you're just going to outline the hearts like so. You don't want to outline the full heart, you want to leave it partially outlined, so just leave a few spaces unoutlined. And for the leopard print, you're just going to partially outline it with like C shapes and brackets, and then for the rest of your nail, whether it's um, blank spaces. Just fill it in with a few dots and I forgot that on my other middle finger but I fixed it afterwards as you can see in like the outro and the intro. But anyways, I'm just going to do this. Once I'm happy with it, just fill in some of the blanks and then you're done with your nails. So just wait for them to completely dry. Finally, apply your favorite top coat to protect your design from chipping away. I applied a matte top coat, but you can apply a glossy top coat if you'd like. And that is pretty much it. I hope you enjoyed watching, and if you try this out, please send me a picture of your recreation on Instagram or Twitter, or both. I don't really care. Just send me a pic because I would love to see. And if you'd like to follow me on all those accounts, just follow me, and the links will be down below in the description box. And please give this video a thumbs up if you liked it, and please subscribe if you want to see more videos from me every week. And yeah, I will see you next week with another new video. Bye!